going to mug me. I'm not going to mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. to walk all day dressed like that. <laughs> Why does? You're going to take me shopping, then? Well, I'm not trying to tell you how to dress, Tony, but... Yeah, good. Then don't. Oh, Tony, I think it's a lovely job. Yeah, thanks, sir. That is a Giorgiani. 75 quid a throw. Uh -huh. oh. 75? Yeah, I'd wear this. Look. Well, I'm saying there's anything wrong with this shirt. It's just oh, that... Stop prevaricating and get to the point, Desmond. <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> what you're wearing is not suitable for work. You look as if you just come from a party. Oh, I have. <laughs> Leave him alone. I think Tony looks bright and cheerful. Well, he looks like a traffic light to me. <laughs> He's not wearing any green. Huh? <laughs> I don't care about the underwear. It's the overwear I'm concerned about. Des, don't talk to me about dress sense, yeah? All your clothes are made by that well-known duo, Polly and Esther. <laughs> Talking about you, surely buy this for me. You should have seen him when Crimpleen was the rage. <laughs> <laughs> These rules, they apply to all members of the staff, do Well, Glory can dress as she pleases since she doesn't work here. Oh, I am today. That's what I'm all dressed up for. You what? I wanted Glory to help me today. Well, she looks like a reject from Shaft. <laughs> yeah. Well, she looks wonderful to me. All she needs is this. I ain't wearing that. So you won't get paid. I love it. <laughs> Actually, I think this shop needs a uniform. Here, here. Yeah, no, man. You tried that on us once before, Desmond. Yes, I still think it's a good idea. Uniforms command respect. Like a barrister's wig or a schoolmaster's gown. What, or a clown's nose? <laughs> 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 oh, a lollipop man's stick. <laughs> What's so funny, Desmond? You! Oh, come on. Don't be horrible. I think pork pie's uniform demands as much respect as any other. You can't call that a uniform, sure. It looks more like a... like a tent. <laughs> Mother Chief, my lollipop colleagues would find that deeply insulting. I remember our lollipop man, right? He used to direct all the traffic into the playground. Yeah, he was probably directing it at you. <laughs> I thought lollipop men were supposed to be kind, gentle, mild-mannered fellows. But we are! <laughs> But what you don't seem to realize is that three times a day I risk my life and limb for other people's offspring. That's why I'm proud to wear this uniform. Oh, but what a way your chest hides. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that uniform makes you considerably more interesting to look at. But unfortunately, no more interesting to listen. But what do you know about anything, eh? You were born a student and you will die a student. <laughs> you see me? I will die with this uniform on. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Pork Pie. You get up in the morning, you put on your oversized yellow coat, you stand up in the middle of the road, waving your giant lollipop around. Nobody's gonna take you seriously. You should see me in action. Oh, Pork Pie, this is Peckham, mate. It ain't Dodge City, is it? Actually, <laughs> it could be murder crossing that road, especially yeah? in them shoes. Look, I don't have time for this idle <laughs> chatter. If y'all want to stand around here and watch a one-time trumpeter turn has been barber doing no good here, that's fine. But if you want to see a true professional in action, follow me. <laughs> now, this I've got to see. Gloria! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there is an old African saying, if you can't be them, join them. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. 
trying to swap sticks or what? Please, please, I can't keep it. You have to go so fast. Well, you're the one who told the tailor, don't worry about looking at the waist, Gerard. I'll job this off in a few days. Look, there's got to be another way of doing this. That's also more enjoyable. Well, oh. according to this, you've lost two millimetres. What? <laughs> that, that can't be right. Well, I'm afraid it is. You're just not getting your knees high enough. You'll never get into that suit. Look, 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 look I will, I will. I just need a bit of a rest, that's all. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Oh, Mandy. Oh. There's exercise and there's torture. I'll stick with the exercise. At present, sir, your gut hangs over the belt of your trousers. <laughs> if you want to go to the regional bank manager's dinner, looking like an aged, beer-inflated rugby player, you can stay seated. If not, start running now! <laughs> Come on! Up, 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 up. <laughs> Come on, my man! <laughs> Why, you tell him, mate. <laughs> Why didn't you cross? What are you waiting for? We are doing the Green Cross Code. But you don't have to do the Green Cross Code when the lollipop man is on duty. My dad says anyone in a uniform is a waste of space. That's why we have to do the Green Cross Code. You children are very rude. Very rude indeed. What do you think about it? If I was your dad, I would give you a good hiding. <laughs> What are you crying for? You made a cry, you little troglodyte. <laughs> I'm going to tell my big brother of you. Don't worry, Uncle Pork Pie. We'll be your big brother. He's no brother of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you across the road. Hurry up, I haven't got all day. Jenny? Mr. Parker's Jenny? But look how you've grown. You can still remember me. It was him. It was him. He tried to be us and he scared What are you doing, my girlfriend? Who gave you permission to shout at my brother and sisters? He's a friend of me. You don't know what you're up to. You're not to be her father. What are they talking about? I'm talking about shouting at poor defenseless children. There's a misunderstanding. <laughs> Calling him a liar, are you? Okay, well, that's a bit of problem. Excuse me. This so-called lollipop geezer shouted at my brother and sisters. And he hurried me across the road so quickly, officer, I knocked all her shopping over. Rather than spend his time doing his job, he spends his time concentrating on chatting young women. I can explain it. Lord Jenny, I can explain. Sir. Yes. Is it or is it not your job to get people across the road at a reasonable and safe speed whilst also maintaining the flow of the traffic? Yes, officer. You'd better do it then, hadn't you? <laughs> yeah. Come on, get your act together. You're letting the side down. Oh, 
There's more, there's more. Uh, stop! I think I have seen you somewhere before. Wait, you just leave my girlfriend alone, all right? Or else I'll stick that lollipop stick where the lights don't change. Yeah? No, I can explain. I wasn't trying to have your girlfriend. Yeah. I was asking her what make your red knees are what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, but we were only joking. Yeah. Go on, laugh. I don't care. Everyone has a bad day. Yes. I just had a bad day, that's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Bad day? It's so more like a major catastrophe to me. <laughs> a one-time guitar player to pension off care worker can't get a chicken to cross the road. <laughs> For fine, let's face it, you just don't have what it takes. Well, at least we have the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> you see me not in control of my shop. Listen, it's both your mouths that need controlling. Now, pork pie, I know your day started badly, and I'm sorry about that, but yours, Desmond, could end badly if you carry on like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, please. Cheers, Cheers Cheryl. Thanks. Don't you worry, Uncle Paul Pye. None of us lot could have done any better. Well, I don't want to sound big-headed. Yeah, of course not, Des. <laughs> Perish the thought. Look, I could do his job with both feet tied together, blindfolded, while shaving everybody here and pick them at the same time. <laughs> I you know the difference. You really think you're something special, eh, Desmond Ambrose? I know I'm something special. <laughs> i tell you what, let me do your next shift. No, no. Anyway, the morning shift is the hardest. Man, just give me the stick and watch. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Done. Someone who knows exactly what they're doing. Well, I can only do my best. And you're much better looking than that other one. You really think so? I've got to keep my strength up. And you've got to keep your weight down. Come on, let's work off that flab or we start talking liposuction. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> I must apologise for yesterday. And he's got something he wants to say to you, Mr. You're not Mr. Grant. Don't I know you? Yeah, you're the butcher, aren't you? No, I'm the barber. That's what I meant. You cut me hair once. I... <laughs> I know. You're a friend of my grandfather's, aren't you? How come you haven't retired yet? <laughs> no, 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 it's not me. Excuse me, I have people waiting to cross the road. See you, babes. <laughs> Put it like this, Des, mate. As you get older, you get wiser. Thank you, Lip. Pretty with you is the reverse. <laughs> Listen, I have work to do. <laughs> Come on, Michael. <laughs> Look, Gerald, my 
Michael's been trying very hard, you know. Jogging twice a day and no biscuits or sweets, so we have to be careful what we say to him and how we say it. I mean, I know he looks cool, calm and collected, but inside we know he's just a munchkin. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much weight does he think he's lost? Uh, five pounds. And how much has he actually lost? One pound. Oh. <laughs> we haven't got to tell him that, though, have we? Well, not if you value your overdraft. How's it going, <laughs> sir? How do I look? Oh, you look wonderful. Do you really think so? Yeah, well hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. Few days sharpening those biceps, smoothing out the waist. You know, I took one look at myself this morning and I thought, some people are just born to look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much have I lost? Five pounds. God, I'm so fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as well you didn't let out the waist in those trousers. I am going to turn heads on Saturday. The best dress, best looking manager since managers were invented. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I were you, Jerry, I'd keep quiet. Otherwise, the repayment on your overdraft could become three months instead of six. In fact, wasn't your last instalment due last week? That is enough, sir. Yeah, but he... For your information, you've only lost one pound. What? And Gerard had to stay up till 4 a.m. this morning letting out your trouser waist so your guts wouldn't spill out all over the floor. <laughs> so the least you can do is show him a little appreciation for what he's done and stop behaving like a pig-headed, arrogant hippopotamus! <laughs> but... Here's a bill. What? <laughs> What's this shit? I don't know where he is. He just said he was popping out for a bit. Popping out where and for which bit? <laughs> I know you know where he is. No, where is Desmond? Hmm? The man is supposed to be running a business. He's having tea with one of the mums. What? <laughs> he did my shift. He was very good. In fact, he was better than me. Let Desmond lose in charge of other people, Jerome? Yes, and he didn't even need the induction course. You haven't heard of beginner's luck, eh? Or by doing it once proves nothing. Look, don't worry. You just had another bad day, that's all. We all have them. Yes, but all my bad days just add up to one bad life. First I come to this country and lose my wife. Then I lose my daughters. I work at Dagenham for 30 years, and what do I have to show for it, eh? A drive shaft that can't even fit my car. <laughs> now I can't even be a proper lollipop man. I just can't seem to do anything right. Oh, none of us is perfect pork pie. We can't get everything right. I mean, look at me, I married Desmond. <laughs> well, if a Shirley pick me up can't work, things must be really bad. I just want to do a good job, that's all. A good job for once. Well, you still got the rest of the day to prove yourself, hmm? Haven't you? Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Shirley. Oh, you forget me, Shirley? Didn't that mum give you enough tea this morning? <laughs> you haven't forgiven me yet? Mm -mm. I don't think so, Des. Who asked you anything? <laughs> I'm just being friendly with the mums. Is what any self-respecting lollipop man would do. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course it is. Except you're supposed to be a mum. What? Look. I you had no right to go out there and embarrass Pork Pie this morning. <laughs> Apart from the fact that you shouldn't have been out there in the first place, Pork Pie isn't playing a game. He's doing an important and responsible job. Is what wrong with you? You're crazy. No, <laughs> just thirsty. <laughs>
me. Thank you. Thank you. We're all very proud of you. Yeah. Our hero. My brother. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. We have work to do. No, we got to celebrate. Celebrate? What for? He only did what I would have done in the same situation. Oh, yeah? What do you know about first aid, this? Well, you see, I... Last time he cut himself shaving, he fainted. <laughs> <laughs> now that pork pie's a celebrity, a celebration is in order. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't be ridiculous. The man was only doing his job. He saved three lives today, Desmond. What was the last thing you saved? Green shield stamps? <laughs> <laughs> Paul Pike, give me that now. We've got another little surprise for you. Yeah, yep. and all you've got to do is put this on. This is your special treat, Paul Pike. Enjoy it. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, sure, you've got your coat. What you doing? Where you going? Out. What about the shop? What about the customers? There aren't any, Desmond. Who's the first customers used to come in? Oh, no one's going to come in this time of day, Dad. Come on. Yeah, come on, Des. No, I have a business to run. Oh, so you remember. <laughs> Just write a sign saying, back in five minutes. Now, you're coming or not? No, I'll think about it. Oh. <laughs> Suit yourself. 